Hey, how's it going? This is Jay from Jay's Playhouse once again. Uh, giving you another quick tutorial on how to use Handbrake this time. A video compressing tool that I use a lot, uh, especially when I need uh, the video to get web optimized. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get this going and get it started. So where we start it with opening the file. And let's go ahead and just get this one. Uh, this is one going to be my friend Summer Isabella. And you can see the size is just under three quarters of a, of a gig. But that could always, always get smaller. Uh, so as you start out, when you ent open up the file, you get a nice little preview here. You can go through whatever thumbs you want. Um, and then over here, you get a bunch of little options. MP4, this is just like a summary of things. Um, it's pretty easy and straightforward once you do this. Uh, you also want to go down here to browse, open this up, and get a the location where you want to drop the video at. So I'm going to go back to this section to where I want to put it at. I'll name a file, call it just export, and save that. Next, you want to just go ahead, or if you need to go down to the presets, you can tell there's a bunch of different presets if you want to go. A very fast 1080p, 720. Um, 1080p is typically good for uh, viewing on the on a computer and also a smaller device such as iPhone and tablet. Um, they got a bunch of other web ones like Gmail, Discord, Vimeo. Uh, and then you can tell here all the devices down here like the Apple phones, even PlayStation, Roku's. Yeah, so as you can tell, there's a lot of uh, preset options they already created for you. But if there's one you spe specifically want and want, you could create one right up here. But we don't need to, so we'll go ahead and skip that. Uh, so everything's pretty much all in order. We got the location where we need to put at. Uh, what do we want to do with the dimensions? Uh, we could click 1080. We already did the filter, so or the preset, so we're good. So all we gotta do next is hit the uh, start encoding button, which is right up here. You just click that, and it's going to go ahead and start doing its thing. Now this also could get very uh, CPU intensive. Uh, if you don't know what that means, it's it's more of a it's going to cause your computer to slow down a bit uh, if you don't have a really high-end PC uh, to do this. So it's better to just click it and let it do its thing. Uh, this one says timing re remaining is about 2 minutes or 1 minute 30. So we'll go ahead and just wait for that to finish up and I'll come back to you in just a bit. 1 minute 37 seconds later. Okay, so now the video is done and I went back to my export folder. Uh, as you can tell, like I said before, this is 723 uh, megabytes, and then the exported one went all the way down to 252 megabytes. So it took off close to 500 megabytes, half a gig. Um, it makes a bigger difference too on the bigger files, but this is less than a gig. Um, but it's definitely going to help out uh, with uploading the video as well as uh, optimization when it comes to people viewing the video it won't have to take a super long time to load it'll just almost be instant hopefully most of the time uh, but yeah that was a quick video of handbrake I hope that you found this informational and I'll catch you all in the next video have a good day